All right, good morning, everybody. Back at it this morning, and I have made the decision now going forward that I'm going to try and start pressing the share size a little bit here going forward. Six months into the year, up a little bit over five grand. So, got some house money essentially to play with. So, going to start pushing the share size a little bit. And I did that in today with all three of the trades. So, we're going to break them down, find out what happened in today's video. Make sure you check out all the links down in the description below and my website, www.garagedaytrader.com. Let's go, let's trade. All right, so first trade this morning was here on COHR. I believe there was earnings news on this one, but look at this giant move. It's making up off of the 45.50 area right when market opens up. So I'm watching it here as it blasts through 48. Go ahead and get started here. 200 shares short at 48.54. So that's certainly uh, double at least on the share size of what I would normally have been taking all year so far on this stock, uh, making this type of a range move. So watching it here as it bounces up through the 49s, I put 200 more shares out there at 49.22. I get the fill right there at 49.22. So now I'm in 400 shares short at an average of 48.88. And looking to see if this thing can either pop up uh, pretty big through 50 or if it's going to come back down and you can see it starts coming back down towards the 4860s really thought it was about to flush here maybe back down towards 48 and be a pretty nice winner but it starts getting stuck here at the 4860s a little bit so I flash down under it for a second I click the button I don't get a fill I put 300 shares out here at 4860 I actually thought I was going to easily get a fill under that but it shot right back up after that little flash through the 4860s and did not get a fill here for that 300 at 4860 or better so still watching cohr here and it's still in the intense move it's still alerting on the scanner to my right of my webcam here so i'm like okay if we crest up through 50 i'm still good with getting my final add in 50 is a big round hole number so that could potentially be interesting here it comes 49.99 it doesn't get through it got the 49.99 there on the ask but could not break through the 50 i wasn't going to click the button in case unless it did break 50 just in case it got some kind of uh, short squeeze or some kind of spike there up through the 50 move. So didn't get my ad in there up uh, at or through the 50 level. And I still got my 300 shares sitting out down here at 4860. And so pretty much it did what I thought it could do around that 50 level as it came up, tried to touch it in this case, and then shoots right back down. So it comes down and does fill me those 300 shares that I still had sitting out there at 4860. So I'm out that 300 shares. I've got 100 shares left here because this thing could potentially still really roll down towards 47. So I was hoping it was going to make a move like that. But unfortunately, it just kind of sits here and it just sits here and it's not doing anything. I'm like, OK, what should I do? What's it going to do here? So as it comes down under, but it's really not making the move, I just decided to take another half of my position off right there just to lock in a little bit more. Still leaving 50 shares out there. And if they drop, you know, a point, that's another $50 potentially to make here on this one. But it does do what I was kind of afraid of and it comes back up. So I put a stop up here over 49.50. It's going to come up here and stop me out on the remaining 50 shares. So a $73 win here on a trade that didn't really work out on COHR. So I guess that's a positive of uh, doing the little bit bigger share size here. But Later on in the morning, it's NEXT, and this one's starting to alert as well. So I'm watching it here as it's coming up towards 7, looking for some kind of a nice push up through 7. It's coming up off of the 670s, 675. So that's like a 25, 30 cent move here, which on a $7 stock isn't too, too bad, but I would like to see some more, which is why I wasn't going to think about front running this one or anything. I wanted to see this one get up and go nicely through 7 here on NEXT. Uh, I'm not sure what the news was here, but based just on how it was acting, I'm guessing some kind of earnings news as well. But here it comes up through 7. We're into the 705s on the ask. I'm looking for at least through 710. Can we flash up through 710? Boom, there it gets up there. Got actually up to about 720. I click the button. I get the fill for 300 short, short at 711 and change. But look at this move. It comes up and I put another 300 out, get filled there up at 725. So now 600 shares short here on any XT an average of 718 and change. So you can see we're definitely pushing the share size a little bit here today. And that's kind of the plan and hope going forward as long as I don't chicken out. <laughs> but uh, that's what I'm trying to do here. So in here, 600 shares and looking for a nice 750 push. 
uh, if it can give me a spot to add in. But if not, I go ahead and put out shares uh, 300 out down at 708. So I get 300 out down there. I've got, or I'm sorry, 400 out down there at 708. I've got 200 left. I put 100 out at 701 in case it wanted to come down and test the $7 mark. But it ended up not wanting to do that. So I was like, okay, well, we've now come up and we've made some new highs. Maybe I'll add in here front running the 750 mark, get that. And then if it wants to make any kind of a move up really through 750, I'll just call it a day on this one and, and take the L. So I get the add in there. Now 400 share short again, this time in an average of 731. But you can see it tried to come down here and it got to right about my average and stalled out. So I do put my stop out here at the high of the day, which ended up being uh, 757. So, you know, if it comes up and it gets me out there, I'll, I'll take this so far tiny win and turn it into a loser. But it is what it is. Sometimes they don't all work out. So it's going to go ahead and come up and stop me out there. So I'm all out here on NEXT for a net $61 loss. But hey, it is what it is. Gave it a chance in case it wanted to make that big rollover. Finally, later in the morning, it's IONQ, and this one's making a nice move here. Also hitting on the scanner to my right. I go ahead and get started with 300 shares short here at 11.20 in just over 11.20 here on IONQ. Looking for if we can make a nice move up through the 11.30s, 11.35 probably at least. would need a 15 cent move here at least to be adding in. There it is. I go ahead and add in 300 more shares there up at 11.35. So I'm now in 600 shares short here on IONQ with an average of 1127 and change. So kind of the same plan really on this one that I've had on all the other ones. If it wants to get up and crest the uh, half dollar mark, I'll be looking to double my position here and, and get in some more. But if not, we'll see if it can come back down under both entries. So it does look like it's going to test this half dollar mark. Is it going to get up and through though? I'm not going to start it until it gets up and gets through the half dollar mark here just because I got, it's only about 15 cents if it gets up and touches it but if it gets through definitely can get at least 20 cents or so here i think on the added position on this io and q trade so got got my limit order set with that 600 at 1150 in case it takes it i'll take anything 1150 or higher but i want to see it crest through here on the ask first before i go ahead and click the button and get the end so coming up here 1147 on the ask can we push up 1150 there is it going to get through 11 boom there it is i go ahead and I click the button i get the fill right there at 1155 so nice fill there on that 600 shares, I now have 1,200 shares short at an average of 1140. Whew, there's a lot of talking going on in this video. We did a lot today, I didn't even realize. So in here at 1,200 shares short at 1140, looking for this thing to make a nice move down here through 1130, ideally through all three entries, but we'll see what it does. It's moving a little bit slower maybe than I would like to see, especially on the pullback here. So I am watching it, looking to see if it come down through 11.30 here, looking to take 700 shares off if it gets down through 11.30. So there's down through 11.30. I take 700 of the shares off, still leaving myself with 500 shares to play with here, which is, you know, probably more than I would normally even have in this trade so far this year. So I've locked in $75, got 500 shares short, still at 11.40, trying to see if we can get this thing to make a continuation on this move and ideally get back down towards 11 would be the ultimate goal here. So it does come up and retest the highs there. And I wasn't too happy about that. I'm like, all right, maybe we're just starting to flag up here and it's going to try to push higher. So I decided to take another half off there. I take 250 shares off there at about 1135 ish, just to uh, reduce this one down in profit a little bit and still give the other 250 shares a chance to move on down further. But it's just failing to get down through this really high 1120s, 1130 range. So I take another half off there. And it's just failing, failing, failing to uh, really make the big flush here that I was looking for down towards 11. So I end up putting a stop out with my final 125 shares there up at break even on my average. It does come up and stop me out there. So all in all, I'm up $100 on the trade. So really, you can see that none of these trades really worked out how I would love to see and how they generally work out, but still managed to make up over $100 on the day. So you know, I guess I can't really complain about that. I'll move on with the day. I'll take my $100 and, you know, I think I got to look at it as sure it's a $100 day, but in the past wouldn't have been anywhere close to that. Taking the smaller share size probably would have been max $50 day. So I'll take that. I'll move on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit like and subscribe. I'll see you later.